glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Here are the keys for this game. Hydration, bananas, oxygen tanks. Got to make sure everybody's in shape and nobody cramps up because both of these teams rank nationally in passing. The secondary, the receivers, they're going to be running all over the lot. We expect the scoreboard to reflect just that. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Palmer has the ball teed up, and we're just about ready to get this one started. He's to the 20. Across the 30. And what a play by the kicker to take him down. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. They line up in the jumbo set. Cody's got to forget about all the distractions, and that includes talking about winning awards. In talking to him, he seems like a pretty focused, driven guy, and I think he's all about team. It's second and three. Ball on their own 42. Zips it to the tight end. Franklin gains about four yards there. I think they were expecting a run on that play, Brad, and it allowed the quarterback to throw for just enough yards to get the first down. They're packed in tight on the line. They'll go with a counter. He's on the run. He's pushed out of bounds around the 50-yard line. It's second and six. Ball on the 50-yard line. Three down, three down. Viking, Viking. Let's go. Red, eight, he fights forward to about the 49. That's good for a gain of one yard. Third down. Pulls in the pass and steps out. That's a key play to find the open man and keep the drive alive. From the 42-yard line, first down. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll have a chance to take a second look at it and determine if he really was in bounds when he caught the ball. Well, the side judge was standing right there, so I'd be surprised if he missed that call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. They come out in a goal line set. Two tight, two tight. Three down, three down. Mike seven, Mike seven. Ready. He's tackled around the 44-yard line. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. From the 44-yard line, second down. Scores 
screen intercepted. He's at the 40. Tackle at the 32 yard line. He telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read by the defense. It's first and ten. Ball on the 32. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 23-yard line. And for Petway, he's just set a new high watermark for career passing yards here. Is he the best quarterback they've ever seen around here? You can make a pretty good argument. He fights forward to about the 23. the catch and look out knocked out of bounds at the 12-yard line not a real fancy play here just a smartly run route good protection and a well-placed ball most times you don't need much more than that he's taken down right around the four-yard line that makes it second and two And here's another third down. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And they push him out at the two. That makes it first and goal. From the one yard line, it's second down. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play, but it doesn't always happen. Here's play number 10 on the drive. It's power against power right now on the field. Both teams have their jumbo sets out there. Touchdown, California! the uprights with the extra points. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Let's take a look at Lubbock. And for Kansas, they get into the end zone through the air. The Red Raiders are out front, 30 to 28. Elsewhere, the Hurricanes and Gators in the battle for the Seminole War Canoe. And for Miami, they've now won three in a row. Miami grabs the win by two. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. California, California is lining up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 29. Golden Bears right where they want to be early in this one. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play.
It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Going deep. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. First and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. Tackle made around the 47-yard line. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. The Golden Bears with a touchdown lead. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. First down. Off balance and they can't connect. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver, maybe every other member of this offense. But the wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it, let's move on to the next play. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And they make the stop at the 35. Third down again. this close you can't afford to waste possessions they're going to review this fumble and i've got to tell you i think he was down before the ball popped loose i don't know about this one brad they called him a fumble on the field and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call after review the play the rule in the field is reversed so after review they decide that this call should be reversed throws left that's incomplete he caught it but failed to get that one necessary foot in that's an outstanding catch and he just missed making a big time play from the 28 yard line it's second down fires quickly and he's got his man he's knocked out of bounds at about the 17 yard line yard line. That makes it second and eight. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 15. They line up in the jumbo set. Gives it to the back. The 10, the 5, touchdown Cardinal. the PAT to tie this thing up. And he converts the extra point. 
An 11 play, 64 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. Fry gets set to kick this one away. Taken at the five, and he just got drilled. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. They'll bring him down at the 35-yard line. That's a deep nine on the play. That brings him second in the line. Mark four. Stop your body. It out. And he's tackled at about the 49. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. He flings it. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. That's a game of 16 on the play. First down. He's tackled around the 23-yard line. That's a gain of 10 on the play. That'll make it second and inches. Mike four, Mike four. And he's level at the 21-yard line. Gain of two yards. First down. He's scrambling. Tackle at the 19 yard line. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 19 yard line. First and goal. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. And this play is number eight on the drive. Touchdown, Golden Bears. on the extra point. It was an eight-play, 74-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill and not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback in this year. Fielded at the four, and he's tackled at the 29-yard line. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer, and that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown, the other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's taken down around the 40-yard line. From their own 40-yard line, first down. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Short yardage situation here, it's third and one. the handoff. He fights forward to around midfield.
Stanford will have one timeout remaining. From the 47 yard line, second down. I think the ball just slipped out on him. That makes it second, and ten. second down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 29. Flings it right. And he is drilled at the five. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. And for McNeil, that touchdown toss gives him the team's career record in that department. Here's just another notch in what's been an outstanding career. It's sort of hard to comprehend how good he's been for so long. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. So a 10-play, 72-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out, and earn the yards, and just rip the heart right out of that defense. We're deadlocked right now at 14. Brad has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Walker takes it from the six. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again he steps out around the 33 yard line That'll bring up second and three. they need about three yards to get the first here on second down Throws it in a hurry. Knocked out of bounds at about the 45. Call it a game of 12 yards. First down. Hey. Hey, let's get that ball, man. Let's get that ball right here. Mike, four. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38. 56, 56. Watch the run, watch the run. Complete, he's got room. Tackle made around the 21-yard line. Right on the tackle at the 21-yard line. Easy, easy, easy. Look that makes it, first look it. He scrambled. Pressure coming. Heading for the corner. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 13. We played a half of football. 14 apiece. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. 
neither team has allowed a sack in this game. And while a lot of fans, and look, we've been guilty of it in here sometimes. We watch games from around the country. Your eye sort of follows the ball. You want to see what happens. But then there's the game inside the game. What's it like in the trenches, offensive line versus defensive line, particularly when one side's winning every time, in this case, the offensive line? Well, it's always tough to judge because you could be doing your job just fine. But because the secondary doesn't play well, maybe it's just you're doing your job, but the secondary's not, and you look really bad on the same token. But, you know, it's it's the most physical spot on the field. You got you get your hands on those big fat guys every single time and you got to shed them and you got to push them back and you exert a lot of force and a lot of energy and it's not on defense you just try to see ball get ball you know offensive those offensive linemen they got a little bit more brains to them they they know where they're going they know where the play is they know the snap count it's a little bit easier for them david and i will stay locked in on everything going on in college football it's going to wrap it up here in the studio just about time to get you out to your second half brad and kirk ready with a call All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He's to the 20. He got hit hard. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Throws out to the back, and it's through his hands. So the offense fails to pick up a first half. Sanders, the return man. Tackle made at the 46. Not a bad return. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Nice run up the middle. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. There's a strike complete. They'll drop him for a loss. Pierces the tackle. That'll bring up third and four. It's first and ten. Ball on the 27 yard line. Makes it to the 14. Second and ten. Ball on the 14. And he 
he hits him hard at the 18-yard line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Now he tries to buy some time. Quick strike and it's caught for the touchdown. Stanford ready to kick this one off. Walker fields it at the seven. He's taken down at the 27 yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Quickly. That's good for a gain of five yards. That'll make it second and four. Larry, Larry, Larry. My four, my four. He makes it to the 32 yard line. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. And down he goes, the 39-yard line. The Golden Bears have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team's put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. From the 47-yard line, first down. Stanford up seven points. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. Makes it out to about the 23. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. First and ten, ball on the 23. Just throws this one away. Give to the tailback, and he's tackled around the 23-yard line. From the 23-yard line, third down. Looks 
for his running back, incomplete. So with one quarter remaining, the Cardinal lead 21-14. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. 39, 39. I've got it. Ready. Right, come on. Ready, come on. He's tackled at the center. It's a nice job here by the wide receiver of looking the ball in and keeping the chains moving. He was on the same page as his quarterback as they both saw the double outside linebacker blitz coming. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Stanford is up seven. Tackle at the three. So they get about four yards from play action. That brings up second and goal. From the three-yard line, it's second down. They're crowding the line. Job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a nine play, 62 yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the six. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Time's running short here, so let's see what plays out. They need to move the ball down the field quickly and efficiently. They should maybe even throw in some no huddle to conserve time. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Makes the catch and look out. And down he goes at the 45. But if this defense keeps taking chances with these blitzes, sure, they may get to the quarterback once in a while, but they also are giving up some big plays like that one right there. On the ground with the tailback. He's taken down at the 47. throw brought down at the 45 yard line and for Petway his passing totals are looking like they might make school history it's been a terrific campaign for this young man from day one breaking that record would be quite an honor got it and brought down immediately that'll bring up second and three Nice run, and he's brought down. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. Zips it right. They can't connect. Incomplete. Yeah, you know, I think the quarterback got so excited to make this throw that I think he just put too much on the football. His receiver was open. He just misfired. From the 32-yard line, it's second down. Zips it to the back. Tackle made at the 30-yard line. are still on the field. Less than three minutes in the game. 
He's looking for six. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. They come out in a goal line set. And they got him for a loss. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. California just took their first time out. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 31. And they get nice yardage on that run. Cody gains about five yards on the run. California is going to have to use their second time out of the half. And he throws right away. Got it to the senior. And he's taken down at the 26-yard line. So what do you think of this receiver after that play? The quarterback made a nice throw, but it was the receiver who made this happen. That's a great way to make a statement. They're packed in tight on the line. And they hit him in the backfield. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 28-yard line, second down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Under a minute left in the game. From the 13-yard line, first down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. get Kirk Herbstreit's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? Not the route you might have expected, but that shouldn't take anything away from this win. Stanford didn't necessarily play their best game today. They let them hang around for a little bit more than they would have liked, but it's still a nice win. Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.